How's it going guys? It looks like Panda has been really active lately making a lot of antivirus software. So we're going to go ahead and look, take a look at Panda's best of the best gold protection. And uh, first of all, let's see what PC Magazine had to say about it. Uh, the pros they say for it is it scores high in independent tests on hands-on tests, includes comprehensive password management, file encryption, and secure deletion. Support for Mac and Android platforms, which is awesome. That's good. So it looks like they modernized, and now they support Mac and Android. It's got bonus features like PC tune-up, cl cloud drive online backup, and file syncing. What they didn't like about it is that the firewall failed web-based test. Firewall services are vulnerable to attack and rudimentary parental control, which means not really good parental control. It can only install protection on one Mac computer. And supposedly it's got that VIP support, but they say it's unimpressive. It's got a rough setup process for cloud drive backup, and they say it's expensive. We take a look here, it's actually $89.99 per year, and that is pretty expensive. But it's supposedly it's the best of the best, the gold protection for Panda. Bottom line is that uh, it's got VIP support, cloud drive online backup features, and... Uh, Panda Global Protection, backup system is good, VIP support fails to impress just like they said before, you can get better value for their money. That's what PC Magazine says is that you can actually get better for your money. So this is what it looks like here and I will post the link on the description of the video so you can download the trial that I'm using right now. I'm using a 30 day trial. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm doing these type of reviews a little bit differently now. Uh, I, I am not studying the program beforehand so you know as much as I do and we're gonna go together and take a look at this program let's go ahead and take a look at the scan function first but first let's make an overview here so it looks like they have a scan function PC tune-up function a firewall application control parental control a data shield Wi-Fi monitor multi-device services of course the VIP support and uh, right here it tells you information about your product you click on the next little circle here to go to the next features process monitor process monitor rescue kit USB vaccine safe browsing password management file shredder so it's got a little bit of everything this is like a total protection type of product virtual keyboard in case you don't want to use your actual keyboard in, in case of key logging viruses file encryptor online backup and the famous panda cloud drive all right, let's go ahead and take a look through here. Let's look at the scans that it offers. It offers full scan, critical area scan, and custom scan, just like all the other Panda software. Let's take a look at the PC tune-up here. <coughs> Free up space, defragment, and scheduled cleanups. Let's go ahead and test it out. Recycle bin, temp files, registry files. Let's do cookies. I'm not browsing history because I want to keep that. And it shows you all the different browsers like Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. Let's go ahead and select those. Free up space. Let's see how it works. Cool. It looks like it freed 373 megabytes. That's a lot. That's quite a bit. So you can actually do a scheduled cleanup here. This is pretty cool. Weekly on Sunday at... 12 p.m. That's usually where I like to do it. And you can select what you want it to do. It's going to select everything. Okay. And now we got a scheduled cleanup. That's awesome that it has a scheduled cleanup. Let's take a look at the defragmenter. Analyze. See what it says. Let's see if my hard drive needs a defragment. This might take a while. So it looks like this is going to take a while, so we'll come back to it once it's done. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this and see how the firewall works. Well, it's going to ask you what you're connected to. I'm going to say home. Firewall is enabled. You can turn it off or on over here on this button. Let's go ahead and take a view of the detailed report. That just basically tells us what we've done so far. You can go back hitting the back button here. Let's look at application control. 
it's off let's go ahead and turn it on cool it's on now that's basically just going to protect me from programs trying to install automatically let's go ahead and take a look at the inf infamous parental control that PC magazine doesn't like let's turn it on only have one account in this computer which is owner the name is owner and you can go ahead and look at the most visited websites websites denied visited categories and categories denied all you could do is see it though let's go under settings maybe we can change it okay here we are this is where you can deny access to whatever type of website or category of websites they might go to your kids might go to and here you can checkbox the ones you want to deny so this is where you do it and that's it that's all you can do that's probably why PC magazine didn't like them much didn't like this parental control much is because you can't do much with it all right I accidentally closed out of it I think yep I'm gonna go ahead and open it back up looks like we got 44% of the defragment done so that actually takes a while all right what's next the data shield let's take a look at that it's off monitor programs that try to access your personal data let's turn that on we protect it there Wi-Fi monitor let's turn that on and see how that works in this computer we're not connected to a Wi-Fi it's actually a hardline connection so that's not gonna work but if you are using a laptop it should show you what devices are connected to your Wi-Fi and that's very helpful if you want to find neighbors that are stealing your Wi-Fi you know because that does happen let's take a look at this feature see what it does okay this is if you want to install it on your Android phone or uh, or iPad or Mac operating system you just click here and you should be able to protect those devices All right, let's take a look at the process monitor, see what that does. Okay, it just tells you what processes are running. That's cool. That's very useful if you're trying to look for a virus. Rescue kit, let's see what that does. You could create a rescue USB drive. If you think your PC is infected, you can use this feature. detects what traditional viruses scanning can't detect that's what it's made for so if your computer is really infected you, you can use this feature here which might take a while so we'll just continue looking through the rest of the program because that might take a while USB vaccine I think it works the same way as the previous one we were looking at So you got to use a, a USB flash drive and you can use it as a vaccine for your computer. Automatically vaccinate every USB drive and search the PC. Oh, okay, so when you every time you use a flash drive, it'll protect it for you. That's how it works. Okay. Safe browsing is on. It detects malware and phishing sites. That's good password management cool it's got a password management too let's check that out we might have to make an account to do this I'm not sure that might take a while so it brings up a setup window here and it looks like it's a completely different program the password manager all right so here's the password manager it looks like I'm, it's, it's making me make up the master password I'm just gonna make the master password the word password okay mm. I don't know what's going on here. I think it's 
it should be making us make it but it's actually asking for the master password I don't know what the heck's going on here okay let's go here first accept and scan oh that's the cloud cleaner that, that's part of the actual program that that it installed at the same time I don't know why it's not making me make a password here let's see is incorrect I haven't even made one yet what's going on here <laughs> you know I'm not gonna mess with this password manager it, it, it's 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 pissing me off I don't know what the heck it's doing okay here we are I don't know what happened but it opened it I didn't even make the password yet all right so you should be able to make a new password this kind of looks like office in a way let's go to beginner mode right now it's an expert mode let's see how beginner mode works here I haven't figured out how to use this yet I, I I'm, I'm gonna have to get out of this sorry guys but once I figure out how to use that password manager I'll make a video about it a tutorial video alright guys but uh, let's go back to the actual panda software so right now it's it's running cloud cleaner which is gonna probably take a while I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because I already know my computer is pretty clean alright now we're back to the main software alright where were we uh, let's take a look at the file shredder So right click any file and select password depot erase okay so it's installed already on your computer all you gotta do is right click it right click whatever file you have right click it and then select uh, erase and that's how you do it for the file shredder if you want to use the file shredder let's take a look at the virtual keyboard All right, here we have the virtual keyboard. So if you don't want to use your actual keyboard, you want to use a virtual one, you use this. And you use this whenever you think you have a virus and it might be capturing your keystrokes. All right, guys. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the file encryptor. Right click any file and select encrypt. That's how you use the file encryptor with Panda Gold protection. And let's take a look at uh, online backup you have to make an account to use the online backup which I'm not going to do right now and let's take a look at lastly the Panda Cloud Drive and you gotta have an account with you gotta make an account also I believe and it works kinda like Google Drive in a way and you can log in by making an account with them I'm pretty sure you actually have to buy the program before you can make an account though so right now we're just looking at it just seeing what it's all about the free trial and that's pretty much it guys in a nutshell that's a lot to cover I know but the uh, Panda Gold Protection is one of the best software that Panda has and Panda has been making a lot of software lately like I said you're probably gonna see a couple of uh, Panda videos on my channel come up because I'm gonna make a couple more of them I'm gonna try to make a video on all the programs that they released this year Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, one last thing. Uh, we were waiting for the defragmenter to go through and it looks like I have 0% fragmented files, so that's good. If you have more than 25%, then you have to defragment your hard drive. Alright guys? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always making new software reviews, so check them out and I'll see you in, your, in my next video.